if you want to grow in your life, in your leadership, and in your business, if you choose to focus and give your energy on how bad the economy is, do not be surprised that your business doesn't grow. Hey, I'm Brooke Jean, therapist, recovering perfectionist, and struggling working mom on a mission to normalize normal. If you're an overwhelmed, high achieving, and secretly anxious mama, struggling to balance it all and on the brink of burnout, you are in the right place. Here is where we talk about hard things like balancing work and family life, mental health, and how to navigate life-altering transitions. Nothing is too taboo here. In my conversations, I'll teach you how to let go of who you think you're supposed to be in order to create the life you've always wanted. Get ready to embrace your messy, shed the shoulds, and find freedom through a life unperfected. This is the Unperfected Pod. Welcome back to the Unperfected Pod, where we normalize normal and find freedom in a life unperfected. What is up, Mama? I am so glad you're here. I am coming at you full friggin' beast mode right now. We are on not just a holiday long weekend over here, but our school is off for the entire week coming out of President's Day? Is that what just happened? Anyways, I'm off today. I'm spending time with my sweet girl. So yeah, I she literally was like, I'm going to go jump on the trampoline. And I was like, well, I'm going to go record my podcast. But anyways, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is how this queen normally looks. Okay, let's not get it twisted. We have the hair up in a greasy bun. We have no makeup on. We have eczema full out. She is just out to town and dinner tonight. We've got the Target V-neck tee with, I'm pretty sure there was a stain. Yep, there's definitely a stain. I made tacos for lunch. Shout out to me for making lunch. That's a win. But there's already a stain on my brand new shirt. And I've got my yoga pants on because I'm really hoping that putting the yoga pants on is one step closer to making it to yoga when my husband gets home from work. More to be determined on whether or not we make it to yoga. I'm pretty sure that I will. So anyways, I have a couple of announcements. As if you've been listening, I am launching Unperfected, the mastermind for mama. It is a six month container plus a retreat where you and other like-minded, badass, Working moms come together to transform from the inside out. So this is not your typical business coaching program. This is a program that is literally going to create a container for your full-blown goosebump-worthy metamorphosis. You are going to peel back the layers to figure out who you are, what your soul came to do, to make sure that you're leading with your purest and most authentic essence. You're going to shed the shoulds. You're going to reprogram your subconscious core beliefs. You're going to learn about energy, right? Because anything that you want in your life, my loves, it's 80% energy, 20% strategy. And everybody is busy working on strategy and wondering why they're not getting results. It's because they're not aligning energetically. Once I started taking this very seriously, everything, and I mean everything, has shifted in my life. You are going to learn boundaries. You're going to learn time management, energy management, sanity management. You're going to build a tool belt of over a hundred cutting edge neuroscience back psychological and energetic tools in your tool belt to help you feel your best so you can do your best. You're going to learn about wealth consciousness, honey, because listen, we need to claim more wealth, us women in the world. Because you know why? Because we do good with it. Because we do good with it. But today, so this epic container, we kick off March 5th. Make sure the link is in the show notes that you snag your spot because this is going to be something really special. And today I want to talk about the healing components and what is possible in the group setting. So why would you choose to invest in yourself in a group program? Why work with a group of other people? I'm going to share four reasons why today. So I myself have almost always been in some sort of group program, right? It started 
when I was in grad school, we had to be, and then we had to actually lead different groups. And because I was able to lead this really powerful group for adult survivors of childhood sexual abuse, that's where I first came into contact with the healing powers that the group itself brought to the equation. And fast forward to now where this year, I, I think it was in December, I invested in a high ticket item, high level mentorship mastermind. So I'm in Samantha Skelly. She is the founder of Pause Breathwork. She basically, she's just such a badass, but she has a mastermind called Life Mastermind. And I joined this group of women and what's become available for me, mind, body, and spirit, and therefore business is just unsurmountable compared to what I would have been able to do all by myself. And let's be honest, being a mom can feel really lonely. Being an entrepreneur can feel really lonely. Also just being at the top of your game. So if you're a corporate baddie and you're just in that C-suite or you're in that director role or you're in that vice president role, it can be really lonely, can't it? And because this group has done so much for me already, and it's only been two friggin' months, I knew it was time for me to launch a group. I knew also I host lots of little group things. So I do, I've done retreats, I've done workshops, I've done in-person trainings and workshops, and I do all of that, but I wanted something a lot more deep where we could truly be in this container for six months and transform from the inside out to get new results in our business. And so I want to share today the four benefits of doing group work. Okay. Number one is just the sheer energetics of a group. Okay. So like energy. <laughs> Hi, my love. But Chloe has entered the room. Mommy's recording right now, sweet girl. Yes. What order does the seasons go in? They go in spring, summer, fall, and winter. What? Ah, you cutie. Thank you for making an appearance. Oh my gosh, how cute is she? The cutest. This is like total mom brain in the making. Energy. All right. So like energy attracts like energy. Energy is contagious. When you join a group of women that are excited, that are ready, that are saying yes to themselves, they're saying yes to healing, they're saying yes to more joy, more fun, more pleasure, more wealth, and they're bringing that spirit to the group container, you can show up in a funk and you are going to be lifted by your sisters. We rise by lifting each other. And so like I can show up and just not be in the best mood or just be tired or whatever. And within minutes of being in the presence of Sam and the group, I feel different. I feel things uplifting. Okay. So then you can't help yourself, but lift up, or maybe you're the one that's lifting the group. Right. But basically together collectively, we are raised consciousness. We are leveled up energy. And so if you've been listening to the episodes where I've been teaching about energy, you understand that everything we've ever wanted is out in the electromagnetic field. We just need to attune our energy to be able to resonate with it, attract it, resonate with it, turn the lights on and illuminate it. And so when you're hanging out with a group of women who are all vibing high and right, it's unbelievable what becomes available to you. Doors start to open. Ideas start to flow. Energy is coming through us and around us and we're lifting each other. And it's just this energetic dance that I cannot describe. So I look forward to my time with my mastermind because I know we're going to have fun. I know we're going to laugh. I know we're going to move. I know we're going to breathe. I know we're going to create. And I know that so much good is going to come in it and through it and out of it. All right. And so you want to listen to me, whatever result you want in your life, leadership and business, you need to start hanging out with those people, right? If you want to make seven figures, if you want a seven figure business, if you want to scale your business from six figures 
to multiple six figures or seven figures, you need to be around women doing that kind of business. And that's why this mastermind is a big investment because you probably already want to be at that six figure range and you want to hit that double six figure or you want to hit seven figure. And so you need to be around women who are already doing the damn thing. They're doing the damn thing because then you want to be in that energy. You want to see what does it look like? What does it feel like to be around a woman embodying success at that level? How does she walk? How does she make decisions? How does she carry herself? What does she focus on? Because what you focus on, you create more of. How does she take care of herself? You want to be around the energy of people doing the thing that you are creating in your life because just by their presence, you're going to level up and vice versa, because I know you have something gorgeous to bring to the table as well. I know you have something incredible to bring to the table as well. And so when you're an entrepreneur and it can get really lonely and you can get in your head and your perfectionism can start to tell you that you're not doing enough or the economy, I cannot, the economy is bad. People can't afford therapy. I was, I'm a part of these therapist Facebook groups. And there's therapists saying, there's not any clients coming in. It must be because of the economy. It's because all these other big branches like Headway and Alma are offering cheaper therapy, are offering insurance-based therapy. Listen, and absolutely no disrespect to those professionals. I'm sending them so much love, but here's what I'm going to tell you. My practice is the busiest it's ever been, okay? F clients are coming in the door every single day and we don't take insurance. We've continued to, we just raised our prices 30 days ago. And so what I'm telling you is it's an energy thing, babe. You want to buy into the problems. You want to focus on how, how bad the economy is instead of focusing on taking care of your damn clients. You're not going to get clients, but because I'm not a therapist who hangs out with that kind of energy, I've never been a part of those groups because I felt right away that they were very, let's look at, I don't like, how do I describe this? Just felt like a stagnant and outdated energy for me. The vibe of those therapy groups. And so I started hanging out with women who had businesses that were different than mine that were doing the damn thing, that were they were living in their purpose and they were helping a lot of people. And because of that, they were making great money doing what they love. That's who I chose to hang around with. And the people that I choose to hang around with were like, yeah, the economy maybe is hit, feeling a hit right now. That's a reality. But there's always people that have a need to grow, have a need to heal. And if they value it and they prioritize it, there's a budget for it right? If the economy is so bad, how come I'm able to afford this expensive life mastermind? So listen, that's not to say that there's not real financial struggles in the world. I'm not trying to minimize that, but I am saying if you want to grow in your life, in your leadership, and in your business, if you choose to focus and give your energy on how bad the economy is, do not be surprised that your business doesn't grow. I have to tell you that. I have to tell you that as a coach right? So you want to surround yourself with people that don't look at that shit. They look at what's possible, infinite possibilities. Anything is possible. If I know who I am and I embody the work that I do and I know that it helps people and I'm not afraid to show up consistently, you're going to attract and resonate with people. So get yourself into rooms, get yourself into rooms where Get yourself into rooms where women are doing the business and they're focused on the things and they're in their purpose. That's what this group is going to be for. Okay. Number two is the expansion. So you're, you may have not grown up with a lot of money. You may have not grown up with parents who were successful. You may have beliefs around like money doesn't grow on trees and da da. And so you, basically have that set of core beliefs that are telling you at a subconscious level, like it's hard to grow. I can't have that. I shouldn't want that. I don't deserve that. That's going to be impossible to get. 
we all have this like set of beliefs that are subconsciously holding us back. And so when you join a group and those women are embodying and living and doing some of the things that you want to be doing, you're teaching your subconscious that it's possible. You're showing it that it's possible, right? So even being with my coaches and my mentors and the things that they're getting to do in the world, when my subconscious can see, wow, they're doing this and they're doing that. I want to do this. I want to do that. The subconscious goes, you know what? If it's possible, let's go. Not only that, the expansion piece is just like how much you're going to learn from each other. Everybody in the group is going to come from a different walk of life. They're going to have a different background. They're going to have a different career path. They're going to have worked in different locations, gotten different degrees, had different, um, it made different investments in their professional career, have different family dynamics, different relationship things, different traumas. I cannot tell you, each individual is just a, a, knowledge and experience and beauty and all of these things. And I believe that there are no coincidences. So you will be in a group with people that are there to give you a missing piece to your puzzle of life. So I'm learning every day from these women. They inspire me, but they are literally teaching me like they're teaching me breath work and they're teaching me different ways that they're securing clients. Like one of the women in my mastermind secured Coca freaking Cola as a client, as a breathwork facilitator. And they're flying her all over the world to lead these gorgeous, and she is a phenomenal breathwork facilitator. I'm thinking of bringing her in as a guest expert into the mastermind. And I don't know what phenomenal means. <laughs> Chloe's in here with me in case you didn't tell or couldn't tell her cutie little voice. Anyways, she secured Coca-Cola and she deserves it. She's amazing. You think I'm not learning? You think that's not expanding me? We're also talking about like, how can we collaborate? So I'm getting ready to meet with her to talk about brain spotting expansion in the group setting to see if I can't tag myself along to those retreats, honey. And so being in a group with other people you learn and it's an intimate setting. Like we're going to talk about business, but we're going to talk about what's holding you back and why we're going to talk about the thing that you're struggling with. We're going to talk about the messy parts of your life. You're going to feel held. You're going to feel supported. You're going to feel seen by this group of women. There's something so healing in that alone. And so that takes me to the third thing was just the sheer support. When you, first of all, it is a core human need to be seen, to be truly seen for who you are. And in this setting, you can take your mask off, you can take your armor off, you can take your roles and responsibilities and set them down, and you can bring your real, raw, messy, and vulnerable self to this space where we just show up. Some days we're going to be on and some days we're going to be off and some days we're going to be fired up and some days we're going to be kicked down. And when you get to know these women in this intimate of a setting, man, that support cannot be purchased in any other way. Are you just saying this or do you really mean this? I really mean this. I really mean this. I can't even tell you. It's like you, I don't know. It, it's a safe place to just bring all of you to the table because it's like all of us are going through something. All of us have real dreams and desires, but real shit that holds us back. And to have women that you know are in your corner, they are rooting for you. They become your ride or dies. They will hold space for you. They will hold your hair for you, but they will also hold you accountable. They will also stand for your greatness. So that's another thing that I love about the group setting is we all set our vision together. We, we cast our visions. Like, what is your dream life? You cast that vision and each person holds the vision for the whole group, right? The group holds the vision for all of the people in its group. And so when one of us tries to play small and disengage, tap out, we're all there to remind you lovingly of your greatness that you deserve the desire that's on your heart, that you could do hard things, right? 
And I don't know, that's just a different support than I feel like you, your team's not going to give you that support. Your partner's not going to give you that support. Your friends don't really understand what it's like to be in business in this way or in this role that you're in at work. I feel like there's something really powerful about being in a group of women who get it, who understand that juggle of working mom life and wanting so bad to have a big mission or live out your purpose, but feeling caged in with your responsibilities and your perfectionism. There's something about being around women who truly get it. And there's also something really healthy about just having a safe place to talk about some of the things that are challenging in, in being at the top or being an entrepreneur or being a working mom and just knowing that they get it. So in the group setting, you're going to feel really seen. You're going to feel really held. You're going to feel really supported. It's not a show. It's not a race. It's definitely not a competition. Don't even try to bring that energy into my group. That won't fly. It is a container where women literally hold each other through their badass transformation of becoming the most potent and powerful version of who they are. And yes, success is going to be a byproduct of that. We are going to stand for each other's greatness. We are going to hold the frequency standard of wealth in all the ways, of growth in all the ways, of abundance in all the ways, of healing in all the ways. I this pillow has all of it. Oh, Chloe's pointing out that this we have a pillow that has all the feelings on it. That's a great, thank you, Chloe, because you know what is also gonna be in this group that's probably not in your business mastermind is just, yeah, how do you use, feel? how do you first of all process feelings? How do you, understand that your feelings are pointing you to something how do you understand that your deep feeling is actually your superpower how do we lead in a more feminine way where there's room for feeling where we also learn to tap into our intuition i'm going to teach you guys how to tap in and fine tune your intuition because i don't know about you but my mama intuition she's sharp baby why are we not using that in business Hello, it's our superpower, right? And how do we get through the feelings? Yeah, how do we get through the feelings, my love? What do you think? Hmm. Do we feel them? I think. Oh my God, she's so cute. I was not planning on her being part of this conversation, but the jumpoline, the jumpoline, the trampoline. Go back to the green zone. Oh, the green zone. That's at school, right? How do you get back to the green zone? Yeah. Do you breathe? Do you shake? Do you dance? Do you talk? Do you cry? What are some of the things that would help you work through some feelings? Maybe a lot of people, a lot of people take deep breath. Deep breath. Also, you can eat a snack. <laughs> I definitely would recommend that combo, a couple deep breaths and a snack. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Okay. Mama's going to get through this last little bit and then I'll be all done and we can play. I promise. Okay. Yay. All right. So what do we have so far, my loves? The power of a group. We have the energetics of a group, right? There's like this spiral where we just keep helping each other build and raise our frequency. And then that opens so many doors for us in the field. The second thing was the expansion. So being around other women wanting to do amazing things, wanting to heal, wanting to transform, wanting to be in their most authentic version of themselves and seeing what they're able to do, that informs our subconscious that it's possible. So we get busy creating that. Also, we learn from each other. Number three is the real support. The real support, whether it is to process feelings whether it is to be called out when you're playing small or when you're getting really crippled with perfectionism. And so you're procrastinating and you're not getting that thing out there or whether it is just holding your dream for you. So you don't forget because how many of us get busy and get distracted and we forget that we have this really big desire, this really big desire we don't want to waste any more time. We're midlife, baby. Proudly, by the way. We are proudly midlife. We've been doing what we're supposed to do all of our lives. Now's our time to shine and do what we want 
to do what we want to do. I think the fourth one that I was going to share was accountability, but I went ahead and put that under support. Because I do believe accountability, especially when it's done in such a beautiful and gorgeous and compassionate way, is support. But it's also like feedback. Like, I love that you can post your sales pages for each other to get feedback. You can ask questions. So in the mastermind, you're going to get weekly live coaching with me and with each other. Then you're going to have access to me in Voxer where you can post your questions and once a day, I'm going to get on there, I'm going to live coach you, and I'm going to answer all your questions. So you have that like accountability or that support in between. And then I'm also going to be bringing in guest experts to teach you like how to reconnect with your body and your sensuality to help you be successful, how to unveil your power, breathwork facilitation, right? I had Dawn on the podcast last week, bringing her on for some sound bath healing. I don't, she does all sorts of fun things. Yeah. Come on into the group and let's help my group just support in all the ways. And then the last piece I'll add now, which I do feel like is woven in. It's just like that sisterhood, right? That sisterhood, that connection, that experience of going through, remember going through high school with people, remember going through college with people, remember going through a Bonnaroo weekend festival with somebody and you're like, holy shit, we just got through that. You feel so close when you go through something with a group of people. You feel like you've known them forever. And what's actually so cool is because again, I believe there are no coincidences. So you're going to be paired up with soul sisters and soul assignments that you were supposed to cross paths with. You will feel like you have known these women for lifetimes before. And so we're going to go through this six months transformation, right? You're going to learn how there's so much. I've just literally poured my heart and soul into this program. You're going to learn about your parts, your inner child and your perfectionist part. You're going to, you're going to be so done with perfectionism and anxiety, which is going to free you up to create in such beautiful ways. And I'm going to teach you an entire new way of being that yields completely new and different results, but in a way that is actually a lot more joyful and easy and fun. Everything I do, it has to be around connection, playfulness, pleasure, and purpose. Like these are my core values as a person. So they're just oozing in this group, but you're going to connect so deeply with the, these women and we're going to have a shit ton of fun together. We're going to laugh together. We're going to cry together. And we're going to go through this process and then to put a bow on top, we're going to end with a freaking gorgeous in-person retreat. And we're going to dance together. And we are for shizzle going to dance together because mommy doesn't let a single day go by that we don't have a dance party. Like dance parties are literally one of my keys to success. I'm just saying, no joke, because we got to loosen up and we got to shake the anxiety out and we got to remember who the heck we are under who the world told us to be. And we got to tap into that inner child because remember when you were little and you didn't think about what was responsible or cool or normal. So you just did whatever you expressed yourself in any organic way. You thought you could be the next Madonna or was that only me? That was only me. You thought you could be a singer, a dancer, a model, an actress, a teacher of that. You thought you could be anything. We want to tap back into that energy because that energy of anything is possible is actually when things become possible. My love. So in my world right now, where I have more time on my schedule to literally Philly fart around, I've got hours in my day for all my self-care rituals. I've got hours in my day to play and be silly and dance and go to yoga and go to dance class and do all the things that I do. And yet my business is the most successful it's ever been. And yet we're helping more people than we've ever helped. Megan on my team, she's getting trained right now to do EMDR couples intensives. I'm offering brain spotting intensives. Oh, that's another thing that you're going to get in the mastermind is you get two brain spotting intensive sessions with me, which is basically a brain and body based therapy, a modality that coaches and therapists and consultants use to really help you remove the blocks 
that are getting in your way of feeling your best and being your best on a subconscious and body based level. That's also included. And so basically we're creating all these fun new things. We're like, Megan and I are like, what is the stuff that we love to do that we know gets clients results? And we're like, for sure, EMDR and brain spotting. Like those things get clients results. How can we offer even sweeter deals for the clients? Like where they come to us with a thing and in three hours, that problem is solved or a lot closer to being solved than it was before. Like where, how can we help people in a more expansive and joyful way. So we're rolling these things out and people are signing up before they're even on the website. Like we're having so much fun being of service. And because we're in that joy energy, more opportunities are coming in. Like you guys, I can't make this up. And this is what I want for you. I want things to be easier for you. I want there to be more joy in your day. I want there to be more pleasure. I want you to feel like you can have a thriving business and a thriving family. And I want you to also realize that all this abundance is available for you and you're deserving of it. And it doesn't have to be hard. Because man, I did it the wrong way where I was like, it's all about that grind and that hustle and that toxic masculine energy. I did that for over a decade and it burnt me out. It burnt me out. So my love, the power of a group. Listen to me, even if it's not this mastermind, will you please consider joining a group of some sort? I don't care if it's a support group. I don't care if it's in a free AA I don't care if it's any sort of counseling, coaching group. I don't care if it's just joining a challenge on somebody's social media for a week. Babe, get in a group setting because there's so many juicy benefits to being in a group. But if you really are that kind of high achieving, high performing, often anxious, badass working mom that is ready to ditch perfectionism so that you can elevate your life, leadership, and business in a way that's more joyful and playful, then get your fanny in my container. Get your fanny in my container, okay? Get on my calendar for that discovery call to make sure it's the right fit and let's freaking go. All right, my loves, I'm going to go back to playing with my sweet girl because I've already made her sit through this 30 minute conversation, which she did so gracefully. And how cute was her contribution? Oh, that's, I just want to end with this thought that's coming through right now, which is our daughters are watching. My daughter is watching me live out my purpose and do it joyfully and think I deserve success and go out and get that success and provide for our family and take us to do cool things and do my healing. She's gotten to see me never not on a healing journey, never not working on myself. And does that mean that she has a perfect mom? Hail to the no, she is messy, but I own it. And I hope that I'm teaching her that she doesn't have to be perfect to have the most beautiful life. I am sending you guys so much love today and always. And I will see you same time, same place next week. Bye for now. Hey mama, if you made it to the end of this episode, I just want to virtually high five you because you've said yes to the opportunity of taking better care of yourself. And that is so meaningful and so amazing. You have no idea the ripple of goodness that's to come. If you've been enjoying the show, if you've been finding it helpful, if you've laughed a little or learned a new technique, will you do me a favor? Will you make sure that you're following the show, that you've given us a five-star rating and left a review? That will absolutely help us get this podcast into more heads and hearts of as many mamas as possible. Because when we heal the mother, we heal the world. Also, if there's a specific episode that you've loved, will you make sure to share it with a friend? Just send them the link or share it on social media and make sure you tag me at Brooke Jean Unperfected because I absolutely love seeing that this is actually giving you the impact that you so desire and deserve. Thank you so much, mamas. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves and therefore each other.